how do you decide what to work on next? And I don't mean at Salesforce specifically, but just in general, like your next project that you're doing, or what, what, is, what is the thought process you go through in, to actually picking, you know, the, I'm sure you have lots of ideas, the, actually the thing that you're gonna do. So I'm a big believer in like platform shifts as drivers of economic value. So, you know, when the internet was invented, a lot of companies that um, are now some of the biggest companies in the world came to be like Amazon and Google. When the PC was invented, companies that dominated the mainframe didn't go away, like IBM, but companies like Microsoft and Apple became, you know, very meaningful companies sort of built around that new platform. Um, and I think that's why, generally speaking, um, looking for fundamental underlying shifts in platforms is like a very fruitful place to say, okay, when this platform exists, what habits will change? Um, and that's why I think, you know, mobile is probably the biggest in, in recent, in, I think it will be the biggest in, for a while. Um, I think artificial intelligence has the capability of doing that as just sort of early days, but um, it changes so many habits that um, businesses are being created around those platforms that previously weren't possible. Um, and the reason why I think platform shifts are meaningful is it just changes the uh, balance of power between incumbents and startups. Um, you know, it's very hard to compete with Microsoft and, on PCs because they owned the PC, um, all, everything, you know, the entire stack practically. Um, in the age of the smartphone, it was a completely different story, right? Because they don't control the operating system, they don't control the hardware. All of a sudden, you're on slightly more equal footing with these very, very powerful incumbents. And your agility as a startup and your native understanding of the platform can sort of outweigh their strength in finance and, and employees and all that. Um, so that's usually like as a startup, like when you're thinking startup ideas, going to the rising tide that will lift the, your boat is definitely, I think, a good starting point. It's a very broad direction, but I do think people often choose a niche and don't think through, like, okay, why will this startup succeed versus these incumbents? It's really important to think about that strategically. 